Hello, my lovelies. Let's see what's going on for you this week. What's happening in your world? What do they need to know? What's happening? Hmm. Lots of frustrations around work and finances. If there's a goal of yours that you are working towards, don't give up until you see it to come to completion. I feel like if you give up a little bit too soon, you're never going to see the payoff or the reward that you're looking for. So keep working hard at your goals. All right. There could be some sort of toxicity around you, things with strings attached, some controversy. Um, I definitely feel like you're working on letting go of these things. The Emperor. All right, so you might be doing some shadow work, welcoming in your person. I feel like um, this person is also kind of letting go of these things that are toxic in order to make some forward progress. The chariot out here tells us that that is possible. Uh, what else do we have? It's time to discover some things about yourself. Um, I feel like you could need to be a little bit more playful in life, especially where love and romance are concerned. Are you kind of a homebody? Are you kind of a wallflower? Are you somebody who is afraid to step out of your comfort zone? Are you not wanting to go out and meet new people? It might be difficult for someone new to find you if you're always at home. So I feel like that could be something you need. Work could also be requiring a lot of your time and attention. I feel like this person's willing to put in the hard work that's required. There could be some gossip or some controversy going on around you as well. Um, I feel like really curious energy. This emperor is bringing out some curious energy. I feel like someone's going to overthink this. You might be losing sleep or have some anxiety. You might really struggle with anxiety. I'm a person that struggles with anxiety as well. An overthinker. I feel like this person's trying to step into their divine energy energy, but they overthink things. It's like they have this confidence, but something kind of holds them back, this fear. So they're trying to work through these things. I feel like therapy could be something that helps them to work through this. Um, shadow work could be something that's helping them to work through this. Music. Music is another one that I feel like. And the Two of Cups. This person desires union. They actually want a partnership. Again, they're willing to put forth the effort that's required in order to actually do so. What else do we have? Yeah, um, I I feel like you could be meeting this person through work, travel. Um, maybe this person has to travel a lot for work. Maybe you're going to have to travel for work, things like that. But you're actually going to have like the sense of accomplishment as well as I feel like in your travels you're also expanding your knowledge you're learning from these past mistakes to move to greener pastures you both might have hit rock bottom you might have gone through a lot of betrayal um, it's time to sever ties with those things again new love coming in with the knight of cups this person is going to be very different from your usual type but they also are going to have to like make a decision you're going to have to make a decision there's somewhere that you're going to have to take a leap of faith and you're going to have to almost step out on blind faith and trust in order to actually go forward. I feel like there is a period of recovery that you need some rest. Um, you could be really burnt out. This person could also be somebody that works a lot and so I feel like they're taking some time off to maybe better themselves to rest and recover. They do desire union with the Hierophant out here. I feel like you're a little bit tired. Uh, they're giving me the word suffocate. I feel like societal norms are suffocating to this person and they like to do their own thing they like to be different um, maybe they don't like to attend big events again anxiety is coming up just a lot of like overwhelming fear or pressure and I feel like part of this is learning to let go of those things and also breaking traditions. It's part of your ascension is learning to go in your own direction and as well as marriage coming in the world. This person may have to travel, um, travel the world literally. I feel like you're completing really hard cycles though, really letting go of the toxicity, the worry, the aggravation, all of these things that are no good for you and you're completing these cycles to go towards a period of celebration of success, of positive change, the sun, another card of marriage, celebrations, uh, happiness. It's a fresh start, your accomplishments, things that you've worked very hard for. So remember, you started with the seven of coins. You can't give up on these dreams or goals. They are possible. While you might be frustrated right now because you haven't seen it happen, it's not impossible. It is possible, but you have to keep going. There's lots of confusion here. Um, there could have been some sort of uh, conflict, some sort of argument that left you confused on what to do. Trust your intuition. I also feel like this person sees you is very nurturing, very warm, somebody who maybe they want to be the future mother of their children. 
and you might be in no contact with this person. I feel like this is twin flames, so it could be anybody, but I feel like your divine counterpart and you have been in a period of separation, no contact, lots of delays around this. Um, I feel like the slowness is what's really frustrating you guys. So let's see. Yeah, working on healing, but also working on practical matters, business. I feel like in your separation, both of you focused on your careers, on healing, practical things like your day-to-day -day stuff. What else do we have? Shifting your perspective in this situation is going to help you to see things differently. Are you seeing the silver lining? Are you seeing doom and gloom? Are you recovering from these things that leave you in that low negative energy or is it something that you still are struggling with? I feel like you need to step out of this comfort zone. I feel like you need to have a little bit of sense of adventure. Maybe you need to be a little bit more of a rebel following your passions, flirting, having fun. Ace of Wands. So definitely somebody who wants to have creativity and growth, new beginnings, definitely positive changes. But one of you is dealing with overwhelm, lots of stress, lots of heavy burdens. And I feel like that's where all this anxiety is coming from. So really needing a break from that. It's time to face your fears. It's time to really make a decision about the future. And you might be facing some opposition. I feel like in work, I feel like if you have a lot of people that depend on you in your work sector, um, that there might be some pushback of like, well, I really need to take some downtime for me to restructure some things because what I'm doing isn't working. I'm burnt out. I'm exhausted. I feel like there's going to be pushback where people are going to be like, but you can't do that. Yes, you fucking can. You will find a way if you need to. So don't let these people try and force you into something you don't want. You may be leaving something behind. A lot of conflict, a lot of chaos, moving into calmer waters, walking away from what does not serve you seeking the truth and introspection all right what are some harsh truths that we need to know for the collective mm. listening to my intuition that's going to help you to see where you need to make changes somebody's running from their own feelings i feel like it's the emperor we don't have the divine feminine out here so uh, the masculine energy is running from their feelings at this time you're looking for an upgrade not a downgrade so don't settle for less no going back collateral or permanent damage. So what happened between you guys? Hmm. Somebody is really going towards peace and harmony. Slept like a baby with no worries. Somebody's being upfront and honest. We have a lot of gossip that could be going around. And Spirit's saying, say no to toxic relationships. You don't have to keep going forward towards things that are not good for you, things that don't serve your highest purpose. Strong-minded, firm, strong, and independent. I feel like you need to be strong on your boundaries. I feel like if you can let go of the fear, you will have... Um, that strong, um, independent streak coming through. Watch out for people who can't show empathy to others, that that's something that you don't want to settle for. And someone might be losing sleep over you. No, honey, they're not worth your time. If there's somebody who isn't good for you and they're toxic, then obviously stop wasting your time on them. No empathy, unable to see their side or how they feel. Who is this person? Is it somebody that's truly toxic? The devil is out here. So it could be somebody who's actually toxic and not good for you. It is time to complete a hard cycle. And I think we have the world card out here. Yes, we did. So you're triumphing over these difficulties. What's happening in love for my collective? What do they need to know? Mm, someone might invite you out for coffee. You might be meeting someone over coffee. This person is stuck in the past. They're looking at old photographs. They need to make new memories. These changes are going to happen sudden and shockingly. It might surprise you. We're letting go of outdated ways of thinking, the cassette, and something is over. Again, collateral damage. There is no going back because it was permanent. All right, we're letting go of self-sabotaging behavior with the hammer out here. So really working on healing. I feel like that's an excellent way to to be. We are in a period of separation. I was saying twin flames and separation, but there's lots of passion between you two. For some of you, it's unrequited love. It's not a good fit. It's toxic. And if it's worth it to you, you're going to make the effort that's required. Children could also be affecting your romantic life. Make love a priority, not a chore. And we have the twin flame soulmate past life relationship. For some of you, you have a soul mission with this person and nothing or no one's going to stand in between that. So you have to come to terms 
terms with it. For others of you, it is a soulmate in this journey, and you could be seeing this person around holidays. It could be a honeymoon period. You could be in a literal honeymoon. We have engagement, so I feel like some of you are moving to the next level, and this could be true love or fairy tale type romance. Ask yourself if it's toxic or if it's healthy. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you soon.